Hey guys, and welcome to Breakthroughs with Brett. Now, on today's video, what I'm going to teach you is how I do my Instagram posts. So, you know, a big craze these days is all about doing the posts with the, the, the image, and then you've got like the tinting, and then you've got the text, and, and maybe a logo on it as well. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through how I do that, um, but I can't do that here in the lounge room. So, let's head over and jump. Alrighty, so as we can see that we are now from the lounge room in the study, we're in front of the laptop and what have I got open here? I've got canva.com. So um, I personally have tried to use um, Photoshop and that's in the past uh, to create the images. And now, I don't know, to me, <laughs> Photoshop's another language. I don't know, there's a lot of people out there that obviously can master it and have mastered it. So that's awesome but for me I was looking for something that's really user friendly and able to be able to create these images in a very very short time so you know and these of course are the images that I'm talking about so um, all of the the ones here as far as what you can see on my Instagram post page here which is obviously life with options uh, page so let's go back over to Canva and I'll show you how I create them so Canva is a free um, online platform really really helpful really really useful so user friendly and I'll show you how so first and foremost you can see all the templates obviously one of the things that I felt I struggled with um, Photoshop was to actually have the canvas square I know that might sound really really stupid but I honestly struggled with trying to make the, the thing square so um, here obviously we've got the social media one so I'm going to click on that and it seems as though it is, let's not worry about that one there. Deal with that later. Um, square, perfect. That's exactly what I need. Um, next is to worry about the images. So as you can see, obviously I've, I use this account all the time. So I've got a heap of images in here. Um, let's see which one. So we do, I reckon this one. Let's go with this one. All right. So, this is an image that I simply got off Google. I think this one was from like a, a search luxury or something like that. And it was just an image that came up in the image searches. One of the things guys, you want to make sure that the image that you're actually using for Instagram and things is a high, a fairly high resolution. Um, the reason being is that, you know, you've got to make sure that the quality is in your image because that's really what people are actually, you know, interested in is that high quality image. So, just what I've done there, simply make sure that you cover the canvas, stretch it out. Um, and then of course, from here, you can, you can you move it around and, and line it up where you want. But I just want to get this over this way. I think that is perfect just where it is. So the next thing that you want to do is all of the images. If I just click back over to my Instagram, you can see they're all like tinned out like dark. So there's a bit of a, a black tint on them. So, Coming back here, the way you do that, oh, wrong one, is you go up to this elements on the left hand side and then simply click shapes and square. Now you want to make sure that this is covering the image itself. Doesn't matter if it's white for the moment, I'm going to change it in a short second. So covering the image, I want to actually make this black though. So I'm going to go up here, go black. On the right hand side, obviously you <laughs> can't see the image at the moment. So go over to the right hand side here and click on this one here, which is transparency. And what I tend to, so as I come down here on the transparency, you're going to see more and more of the image. I personally like to sit in a range of around that 50 to, to 60 mark. I think it, most photos will fit within that. Um, this one seems to be a little bit darker. So I might actually, let me go. I like, obviously you still want to be able to see the image behind, but the, the whole purpose of these posts is not the actual image. It's more actually the quote and the words. It's really what people are, are getting intrigued and interested in. So, but you obviously want to still have that bit of the image just to, to balance it out. So let's go with that. It looks good. The next thing that I'm going to do is put some text on it. So as it is on the left-hand side, text, easy, um, add heading, um, what I'm going to go with, let's see, make, oops, if I can spell the most of, 
Hey. Seems as though the keyboard skills are not working so well. Moments as they won't come again. Perfect. Now, obviously, it's black, so let's just make sure I've got it. Do, 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 do. Yep. You can change the text to white. Um, then you've got all your fonts and stuff up here as well. Whole heaps of different ones. Now, I am a classic kind of guy. I'm a fan of Times New Roman. So that's the one that I go for. And I, I would encourage you also to stay consistent with the font that you use in the actual images because at the end of the day, these images are the front of your brand. So the consistency is key. Um, so one of the things that I like, and you should be able to see it on this. So yeah, you can see how it's just snapped to the center line of the image. Perfect, because it, you wanna make sure that you balance the image out and everything like that. So I'm gonna leave that there. Then I'm gonna use this, add a little bit of body text. And that is the one that I'm gonna use my at life with options tag and i'm going to change that to white as well and i'm going to change that to times new roman because that is the way that my brand works out for me come down here make sure it's centered find the right spot perfect now i'll go back to the uploads because obviously i need my logo on it and one of the things this logo has been uploaded in png format uh, the reason that is so obviously the logo was originally created by a graphic designer, um, somebody that I found on freelancers.com, which was just really, really helpful. Cause as I said, <laughs> Photoshop's not my thing. Um, graphic design's not my thing. So it was saved in a PNG. So basically it's got a transparent background. So it means that when I put it on here, I can quite simply, uh, it's kind of like not a watermark, but, it's um, yeah, so obviously you can change the size, you can edit all of that. So let's just get that in the spot. Perfect, I think that looks good to me. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna be a little bit picky because it's all about consistency. Bring that down, I like it. So then that's the image, done. Now you wanna download it. So you're gonna go into downloads here. Now in downloads in the file type, you've got the two that really matter for this is the, P the JPEG and the PNG. The reason why it's talking about PNG there being recommended is that the PNG doesn't actually flatten the image out. So the way that we've got it there, so we've got three different layers. So you've got the actual image layer of the, um, the wine and the, the girl sitting watch, looking out to the sunset. Then the next layer is the tinting. So the black tint that I've put on it. And then the third layer is the text and the logo and everything. So, what the PNG will do is it'll keep it in those three layers so you can actually go back and re-edit it and not have to worry about if you, you know, recreating it and that sort of thing. Um, but I personally, I'll normally just go with a JPEG. Um, and what the JPEG will do is basically um, flatten all three of those layers and it will just be that one layer. Um, so obviously you can't edit it, but it's pretty easy to recreate. So I'll just download that. And whilst that is doing that, the next thing, um, Grambler. This, the, the biggest issue that I've had, and I guess, see, there it is there, perfect. Um, so the biggest issue that I've had in the past, and the one thing that I've been trying to work out is how to post an image to Instagram from my laptop. You know, it's all well and good being able to create these images on the laptop, but not being able to post them to Instagram through the actual Instagram page is seriously annoying. Um, otherwise I'd have to upload them to Dropbox and then, you know, upload them on the phone and it's just fiddly. It's just annoying. So I found Grambler and Grambler again, like Canva is just a free, a free platform. Um, no way affiliated with any of these, but this is just what I use and I thought I'd share them with you. Um, so Grambler spelt up here, it says, so G R A M B L R. Um, create an account you can over here you can actually have different Instagram accounts and stuff that you can log in um, I've got my own personal account in there as well uh, Brett Williams so you know obviously make sure you're on the right account that's that's definitely key otherwise you're gonna upload this image to the wrong one um, so let's go through it so quite simply find that image 
perfect go save continue here is where you write your text so make the most these moments possibly won't again and what i will do is i'll go over to my instagram page because i've got like standard sort of stuff that i use on each of my image so just copy those uh, which one was it there i'll add that to that and quite literally hit send it is that easy to post an image from your laptop to instagram it's yeah you know when you're when you're really going through it you can quite easily get an image up on instagram within five minutes so let's go back here and just refresh so we should see that image popping up uh refresh there it is perfect so and should you know it should start seeing some engagement and stuff coming through on it pretty soon but yeah so that's it guys that's how you easily post or create an Instagram image, one of these motivational quote ones, and put it to your Instagram account. So if you got any value out of that, guys, share it, like it, show it some love, comment, um, and yeah, stay tuned because there will be more breakthroughs with Brett coming. And uh, yeah, of course, also subscribe to my YouTube channel um, to stay in tune for those. So take care, guys, and I will speak to you soon.